Hey guys, it's Bub here. I've noticed a lot recently that on this channel we've been taking a look at a lot of different versions of Windows 11. So I decided let's kick it back to 2001 with Windows XP. So as you can see we are on this beautiful Windows XP desktop taking a look at an interesting piece of software that's quite a few years old at this point. This is 7miser. And what 7miser will do is it will convert our Windows XP install into something that looks like Windows 7. Now obviously it's not upgrading us to Windows 7, but it's kind of like a custom theme for your Windows XP machine. Now I actually did have to download this off Softpedia, so I was a little uh, sketchy about it. Here we are, and if it installs a virus, it's a virtual machine. So, welcome to 7miser. Next, we're going to accept the, the terms and conditions. It looks like this is from 2016, so that's a pretty old piece of software. Um, scrolling through, actually, does this website still exist? I'm not even sure if this version of Windows can get on the internet. Um, let's see, we have the agreements in a different language. Okay, go ahead and click I agree. And we're going to do a normal installation. So, we want everything. I'm going to install everything and it is 241 megabytes. That is a lot of space. So as we can see it's going to create a system restore point for us in case something breaks and now it's going to automatically do what it needs to do. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run. Our system is being 7 if that's the right word that I want to use and we'll be back once everything is good to go. Alright and here we are. So it is completed install, our background changed. Um, and there was a PayPal donate. So we're going to go ahead and reboot our system so we can see the full effect of what changed. Uh, the first thing I noticed, well, first of all, the background was the Windows 7 background, but I also heard the shutdown sound. It turned to the Windows 7 shutdown sound. So that is something interesting. Let's see what we get upon boot up. I included that in the video there. If you saw the startup screen, it like flickered from Windows XP to Windows 7. So that is crazy. But here we are, the Windows 7 XP desktop. So as you can see, the taskbar is in the classic Windows 7 non-Aero theme. Uh, kind of disappointing they couldn't imitate Aero somehow. Um, the volume is still the same. It's not the updated Windows 7 one, but it has the updated Windows 7 sounds. Safely connect and disconnect USB. That looks normal. And we do have the Show Desktop button, but I am curious to see if Show Desktop works. Okay, show desktop is just for show. It doesn't actually function properly. And then clicking on the time, I'm there we go, it just opens our typical date and time properties. Uh, we have nothing pinned on the taskbar by default, probably because there is nothing to pin to the taskbar. Opening taskbar and menu properties, we can see that it's updated for this version. Uh, we can also change it back to the classic start menu, which is pretty cool, and it even says Windows 7. That is crazy, the level of detail we're going into here. Opening the start menu, you can see the font is a little bit off, but it still does imitate Windows 7 pretty well. I'm going to explore email, uh, Windows Media Player, MSN, Windows Messenger, Tor Windows XP, Files and Transfer Wizard. Uh, pretty cool that like all of the icons have changed. Like That's not the Windows XP email icon, um, but hey, and even the sounds are here. That is crazy. Wow. Moving on from this, let's take a look if we got anything else. So, of course, Tor Windows XP is still here. Welcome I love the music to Windows that comes with XP this, from Microsoft. But we can't stay in this because I'm sure it's probably copyrighted. Moving on, let's see. Did we get any new games? I don't think we got new games. Uh, it all looks the same. Uh, nothing really new here. Uh, yeah, this does look like the old Windows XP games. Nothing truly special here. Going ahead, let's open just computer. We can see that it still does look like our typical Windows XP, but it has some new icons. We can see window borders. The buttons are a little spaced out weird. They're not the same as they are in Windows 7. Um, but we can still, I mean, like I said, all the logos have changed. It really looks like a beta between Windows XP and Windows 7. As you saw me try, uh, arrow snapping does not work. There is no arrow snap left, right, top, you know which is a little disappointing because I love using arrow snap. It's one of the biggest things um, that I use in an operating system. Let's go ahead and open run and see if Winver, wow, even Windows 7, or even Winver says Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, and I'm pretty sure this was changed 
2007 or maybe I can't tell if I can't remember if this build of Windows XP is a 2007 build or not um, it very well could be but again Windows 7 came out in 2009 so that would still be off even if it was changed uh, I guess we should have taken a look at that prior to this so let's take a look at our usage here uh, we can see that this is using this VM only has 512 megabytes of RAM I believe I think that's all I gave it let's double check that Wow, okay, Windows XP 7 Miser. Okay, that's pretty cool. Can we see how much RAM it has? Oh, it's right here. Uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. So we're using idling about 5% of our CPU usage and 171 megabytes of RAM, which honestly is not that bad. Uh, but remember, again, this isn't Windows 7. This is actually Windows XP under the hood. So can I see? Let me see. Does it tell me how much space we're using? Okay. So we're using 2.79 gigabytes of space. Wow. Compare that to how much Windows uses today. That is crazy. That That's amazing. And let's see if we get any kind of personalization options. So this is the new pick a category screen, but we can change it to the classic view. Uh, but I actually, I do honestly, I know people are going to be uh, mad at me. I prefer the category view. I just like it better. Can we change themes here? Uh, Okay, so it's just the standard Windows XP theme. Oh, it just disappeared. Let's see, change the computer's theme. Windows XP is the Windows 7 theme, but then if I click it again, it goes back to Luna. That is interesting. It also still thinks the background is Bliss for uh, whatever reason. But it's actually funny if you look at if you can look closely at this window here. That's a Windows Vista taskbar. Um, Okay, so the, that is still Windows XP, but there is also now a Windows 7 uh, one as well. I mean, they went all in here. And think about this. This was at a time where Windows 7 was still supported. So this was post Windows XP. So to, it ended in 2014, and Windows 7 ended in 2020. So this was 2016. This was about right in the, this was in the middle of that. So I you know people that wanted to hold on to XP but wanted to look like Windows 7 I mean I guess that's kind of where we are I mean if I hit log off here wow look at that they even mo they, they even modified the login screen that is crazy if I just if I switch user it still does the same thing that is crazy I mean the, the amount of detail that was put into this operating system is just insane um, I can't even begin to like how much work this must have taken and for a simple I mean this is about 19 megabytes I mean it's crazy that this was able to do that much um, let's see Internet Explorer I don't even know if I have internet on this VM or if okay so I still do so I'm just curious to know if this developers website still exists so okay that doesn't work but it also looks like he has ultra UX theme patcher um, I feel like I've heard about that before um, but anyways, that's beyond the point. Maybe we'll take a look at that later down the road because this is probably one of his earlier projects, Seven Miser. So that being said, this is just a brief overview of Seven Miser for Windows XP. I believe it also works on Windows Vista, which is something that we may just need to take a look at in the future because I love this theme. I mean, the amount of detail that went into this is so amazing. Maybe with Windows Vista, we'll even be able to get Arrow. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. That being said, I'll see you all in the next one.